What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Hey, we here with some more healthcare. This time we got Americans guess the cost of British healthcare. This is gonna be interesting to see because I know me personally, in the beginning, I didn't know healthcare in Europe, all around Europe, was either free or very, very affordable. So this is gonna be interesting to see a lot of Americans probably not know and think that Europe healthcare or British healthcare is probably super, super expensive as well as America's. But y'all hit that subscribe button, send down those recommendations, and let's check it out. This U.S. country, it's nothing but a strip club. It's Dang. nothing but hustle. Not the strip club. Hustle. We can have all this. We should be able to have good health care. Fact. Universal health care should be, you know, something we all should strive for. We nickel and dime each other here, and people don't realize. It might not look like it. But we're in Dallas, Texas. Oh, in terms of healthcare, yeah. this city is the least insured in America. Around a quarter of people don't have any cover at all. Dang. We're going to talk to regular Texans about the NHS. Okay, this, dang, this hitting home. They in Dallas. This is down the street. This is like 40 some minutes for me. Man, hold up. Let's see. I didn't know that many people was not insured in Dallas. Which makes sense if y'all can see all these big major buildings, all this. Dallas got a lot of money of people don't have any cover at all. We're going to talk to regular Texans about the NHS and the cost of their medical bills. What's the, what's an average medical bill for you know a, a regular Texan? How much might that might that person be paying for their, their premium and, and well, their regular bills? Let's bill? say you break your arm. Uh, regularly in the rest of the world, that's a couple hundred dollars. Here in Texas, easily two thousand, three thousand oh, dollars. Yeah. Could I ask you then to guess how much it might cost in the UK if you broke your arm? That situation, how much do you think someone has to pay in order to have that fixed? Two hundred bucks. It's totally free. Totally free. Wow. Wow. I can tell you, I just, I've just i got a busted shoulder, and I can tell you exactly how much it cost. Do you mind? Yeah, sure. It was $5,000 just to have a doctor look at my broken sh collarbone. Just to look. Just to look? What? That's insane. The cost. Do you mind? Yeah, sure. It was $5,000 just to have a doctor look at my broken sh collarbone. Just right. to look at my broken collarbone. That's crazy. That's paid out on arrival. Um, no, my insurance covered the majority of it, but my portion of it was about just shy of three. Wow. So, yeah. And then presumably ongoing physiotherapy, things and like that. And this guy looked like he actually have good insurance. That's the crazy thing about it. He looked like he possibly have a good job that provides good insurance. And you still coming out almost $3,000. The insurance is covering nothing. That part's pretty much covered by insurance, but I have really, really good insurance. Okay, sure. So, and is that through, through, your, through your job? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes our jobs provide, mm -hmm. but sometimes they don't. So what's the case for you? Do you, do you have insurance? No, I, I don't. Oh, wow. Okay, no, so, I don't. So if something happens to you, you need health care? We have to pay full price. Right. Oh. Yeah. And that, presume, that can be very expensive. It can be very expensive. Would you like insurance? Would you like, would you like to have that health care? I would like to have one, uh -huh. but you know, I, sometimes we can afford yeah. it. Right now, Dang. I'm about to go to That's Mexico. Crazy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna travel for two weeks because okay. I'm gonna have some dental done, mm -hmm. uh, some dental work done. Okay. Only because here in the states, it will cost me like ten thousand dollars. Wow. Ten thousand dollars for the dental work here in the U.S. Uh, do you mind me asking how much it's gonna cost you in Mexico? About a thousand. Wow. Ten percent. She's saving a lot just to make a trip to another country. Man, I think if I need some work done, I'm gonna just fly out to another country. It'd be cheaper. Ten. Yes. And the quality of care as good? As good or even better. Wow. Going to see the doctors, a couple hundred bucks if you don't have insurance. Right. Just to get a checkup. Mm -hmm. It's very obvious to someone like me. I'm first time in this city. Yes. It's clear there's a lot of money here. Big buildings, yeah. offices, nice cars. It seems like there is the money to be able to create this kind of system. Right. So why do you think there isn't that level of health care? I believe there is. Okay, that's the cash. Uh -huh. I, think, I think that's the risk. But they just haven't allocated that money where, for, the, for the people. Uh -huh. We can have all this. We should be able to have good health care yeah. for all. There's two versions really being offered that's here, what, isn't there? That's Trump what I don't understand. Like, we got all these expensive things, but I'm telling money, getting money can make you greedy. It really can. America, we, we got to stop being greedy and help our people. We should be able to have good health care for all. There's two versions really being offered here, isn't there? Trump is offering something quite different to Joe Biden in terms of health insurance. Um, do, you have a, do you have a preference? Do you think there's one that's better than the other, or do you think the system at the moment? I don't think there's none differences. I mean, it's all business. Mm -hmm. So pretty much as far as I have learned, which I'm 34 years old, this U.S. country, it's nothing but a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. 
Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, I mean, it's nothing but hustle. Uh -huh. Hustle. So that's what, it's, they're, what they're doing out there. They're just hustling. Yeah. They really don't care. You think it's the, the healthcare companies, the politicians, they're all sort of, it's about it's about profit. Yes. The universal health care should be, you know, something facts. we all should strive for. I'd like to see some, some health care changes. We need massive overhaul. Uh -huh. It's not just about universal or anything else. It's just, it's insanely expensive regardless. Mm -hmm. Start there. Do you think that there's much political will in this city for that to happen? Do you think broadly people want that to be the case? In the city, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. in, the, uh, in the urban areas, yes. Suburban areas, they're just they're typically more conservative and they're not really sure exactly what all that entails. Yeah. And so they're not they're not going to do it. My understanding is that people are generally sort of opposed to taxation here. Uh, yeah, but it's more you start screaming about socialism more than anything. Mm. So <laughs> that's really what they're going to do. R rather than perhaps engaging with it as an yeah, idea. Exactly. Rather than actually thinking about it logically. Yeah. We can afford it as a country to take care of each other. We can. And uh, these nickel and dimings of uh, these procedures that are costing thousands and thousands of dollars just aren't that expensive everywhere else in the world. Uh, we nickel and dime each other here, and people don't realize what universal health care means. Yeah, you'll pay a little bit more in taxes, but you're saving thousands yeah. at the doctors. Uh, and people really need to be educated on that, and That's they just fact. don't want to be. He's speaking facts. I got to watch some more political, Joe. This was good. This was good. Oh, I think I've seen that. I think I've seen that one, maybe. It might have been another one, but I got to watch that again. But they, they were speaking facts. Like, we so... Of like we so worried about oh we don't want to pay more taxes but it's helping people save so much money when it comes to health care like some people they might have a good job but in that job it might be some risky work that they're doing that could possibly cause injuries and stuff like that you know so if i got a good job and i'm injured get injured and stuff now if it cost me an arm and leg to pay because the insurance, even though I got good insurance, it's still costing a good amount of money out of my pocket. I can't work. I'm not getting paid for the time that I'm off for being injured or nothing. It's just not good. It sucks. It sucks. But y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button. Send out more recommendations. That's all I have. Y'all be blessed. Be the best and be you. I'm out.